What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another M18 M19 draft in 2018. Makes a lot of sense here. We're going to take this uh, Nicol Bolas. Just kidding. It's a Sarkon's on ceiling. Probably still pretty good if we can get a bunch of big idiots. I'm going to build around this. Let's take this Sarkon's on ceiling. Where, what do you think the ceiling is on this? What do you think the unsealing is on this? <laughs> we have a good time. Can you teach me how to have a smooth, sultry voice like mine? I can't teach that. Uh, it, it's worth noting that I actually have consciously tried to adjust my voice in such a way that it sounds good when I record. It's definitely a process that I've uh, tried to perfect over time and not something that uh, I was just born with, I think. I think the best thing is just be conscious of your voice when you're talking and how it sounds. Uh, don't care about this guy. I do care about Electrify, though. I'm going to Electrify. Oh, Prodigious Growth is actually bonkers in this format. It is very hard to get rid of a creature with this on there without them getting at least one swing in. We're going to take the Prodigious Growth. And I assumed we were going to be red-green anyway because of all the big idiots. How much upkeep do you do to your beard? I don't do a ton of upkeep to my beard. Um, but I do enough, I think. And you know what's great? Um, I think we can actually take the Rabbit Bite here. If our deck is going to be full of big guys, I think the Rabbit Bite is going to be better than the Bristling Boar. Also, our deck looks pretty sick right now, I'm going to be honest. And see, we can just take this Bristling Boar instead. Or we can take the Thornhide Wolves. I do think Wolves are better. Um, I mean, I have a beard, uh, a beard trimmer to go over it. I have a straight razor to clean up, and I have, uh, I use beard oil, and I use scissors. I, I, I mean, I take care of it, don't get me wrong, but I don't go crazy about it. But it's also because it's not that, that long, right? Like, I have a, sh it's, this is short. This is probably on my razor, this is a, this is a, on my, on my electric razor, this is a seven, and I go over here with a five. I'm going to take this guy. Yes, I did get the untapped subkeep. I, thank you. Hossmania, thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate the uh, the heads up here. I think we can get more bristling boars. And I think... What's Omniscience go for? It's like five, five cents, right? I remember when Omniscience back in the day, Omniscience was like big money. Because it was in the show until decks and it was only had like one printing. Uh, what beard oil do you use? It's... it's um, let me see if I can... I'm gonna highlight this Thornhide Wolves and I'll show you. Look, this is a, this is a, this is a groom stream. Uh, let's go to Amazon and I'll find it for you guys. Uh, it's called Can You Handlebar? That's the that's the brand, and it is called Devotion. I'll put the link. I'll put the link over here if you guys like. Beard oil. Let's make sure that link works. It does. Hmm. I mean, Spark Tongue Dragon doesn't have power of 4, 5, or 6, but it's still very, very good. So I'm going to take that. Uh, the reasoning for Wolves or Boar was because we're, we're planning on playing this on 4, so we want to play this on the following turn. And I also technically, I, t I tend to see more Boars than Wolves. So, I mean, it's really just like, I'm going to take this 2-drop because I don't think we're going to have many 2-drops. Titanic Growth seems good. I don't think we're an active treason deck. I think we'd like to have some Titanic Growths. 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 What length do you trim? Didn't I go over this? This is a... I don't know. I mean, like, this is a 7 on, on the Razor. This... 
uh, settings on the beard trimmer. It's these. Are, this is about a seven. Here, like my the bottom, I don't actually trim. I mean, I tr I, I just cut it. I just trim it by hand. Hmm. I'm just gonna take the root snare because that actually has won us a game before. Uh, another two drop. We could take this in case we find a white card we want to splash. I think that's probably better than a random two drop. Crater Domenso does help to ramp, but I mean, like, I don't really want to sacrifice a three drop to play a six drop or a five drop. I mean, I don't really want... And then they just go Luminous Bonds and we two for one to ourselves. Like, this is not a format... I don't think this is a format where you can really two for one yourselves and, and end up winning games. Correct. It does not ramp at rituals. Uh... Yeah, all right. I mean, it's fine. It's a green card, whatever. Invoke is actually good if we want to play with the stone quarry. Right, if this cost two and it, it gave you, like, three, I'd be like, all right, cool. So I can, I can, we can actually... It's like a Simeon Spirit Guide in that in that sense. But you have to have three mana up front, right? Like, This is a 10-10 floater with tramps, thanks to the growth. Ooh, Demanding Dragon. That's pretty OP. I like this Fiery Finish a lot, but we're going to take the Demanding Dragon. That also triggers our Sarkon's Unsealing. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm okay with it. If we get past the Spitfire, it's going to be even better now. Goblin Instigator? What's a Goblin Motivator? Do you mean Goblin Instigator? Joshua Kell, so far you, you have called Catalyst Elemental, you've called it Crater Elemental, and you've called Goblin Instigator a Goblin Motivator. Oh, do you mean the Haste guy? I think you actually got this correct. It could be this guy. It might just be Instigator, though. Instigator blocks a bunch of things. I think it's, eh, it's probably Dagger Claw Basilisk. It could also be Rogue's Gloves, too. Yeah, we'll take Basilisk here. Gutter Snipe, are we doing it again? No, we're probably just taking this other Spark Tongue Dragon, I think. Yeah, we're just take, taking Spark Tongue Number Dose. This is not a... Uh... These are always eight drops, right? Like, I never want to play this guy on not eight. Mm. Also, combo. Combo. I mean, if we're asking for shocks, I'm just going to ask for lightning strikes instead. That's just how I feel about it. Have we gotten any subs today? Good lord. What's going on? I missed one day yesterday, and uh, we dropped from 328 or 329 to... What are we at now? God, I don't even want to know. Oh, 316. That's better than I thought. Probably second Basilisk here. Also, why is the... Why do I have to like double-click on this to make, to make it pop? There we go. All right, I'm gonna take back basilisk. Basilisk number dos. I guess yeah. I guess Banefire is probably the uh, the ideal one. Spit Spitfire is also a, a good one. I would take Spitfires or Banefire. Spitfire Spitflame or Banefire. 
Oh my god, Josh, you don't have to gift people subs, buddy. Thank you so much, man. Seven gift subs? That's unreasonable. Okay, so I guess people just do want us to have this. I'm gonna take this motivator, though, because with double wolves and uh, double dragons and triple dragons... Yeah, I think it's. I think motivator is actually pretty reasonable in this deck. Guys, don't know. So here's the thing about gifting subs. You guys are awesome, and I love. I love that you do it. Uh, don't 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 take me the wrong way at all. But I mentioned this before. It's about retention for me. Like I want to. I want people to to subscribe because they feel like they're getting value out of the channel, and they want to support me. Um. So like you know, gift subs are great, but like at the end of the month, those people rarely subscribe again. Um, you know, sometimes they do, but not always. So then I just, I see this dip again. So it's not like I'm not making forward progress. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it's all about just wanting to, to have people feel like the content is worth it. Wow. This is a late dryad green seeker, which I'm going to very, very easily put into our pack. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is seventh pick. Whoa, Vine Mare and Prodigious Growth, and it goes perfectly with Sark. Wow, this is this is the best day ever. Also, Joshy Kell, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. Oh, another motivator. All right, our deck is looking great now. Eh. Yeah, I'll just bring in Make a Stand in case we do splash the white. Wow. Oh, Timber Gorge is even playable here. I think it was just a plummet for the sideboard. Okay, I'll just take the second plummet for the sideboard. There's going to be a naturalize too, I bet. I bet we get one naturalize. Wow, these were great pickups. Vine Mare is insane, but with the Sarkons on ceiling and Prodigious Growth. I'm pretty sure if we just go turn turn four Vine Mare, turn six Prodigious Growth, we can't lose, right? Lightning Axe or Murderous Axe? I think Murderous Axe is playable in most decks in this format. It makes your 1-1s, 3-1s. Like, I think Axe is totally fine. Sonic Hound, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. And by welcome back, I mean welcome. Really appreciate the support. Sometimes I get the welcome and the welcome backs confused. What do we do with a massive amount of mana, though? Um, what, do you, what is that? What, what do you mean? Oh, okay, that was a response to something. Yeah, Marauder's X. Reese, if I know what you're talking about, that's why I said it, it, it's good. I think it's good in most decks. I mean, I would, I would play it in most decks. It would be... It, I mean, I could definitely see cutting it in some decks. But I think it's a very easy play in most decks. Just because it... Uh, it makes your... Like, if you have, like, the... Even, like, the 1-3... Wow, Hungering Hydra? Yeah, that's pretty good. Wow, I want, like, two Druid of the Cowls for this deck. Yeah, we're gonna take this Hungering Hydra. No, no, don't... No, no apologies needed. You guys brew away. Gift of Paradise is, like, perfect for this deck. Oh, man. Over-Electrify, I wonder? Going from turn 3 to turn 5 is pretty insane. We're a little shy on removal, though. We have Electrify, Rabid Bite, and that's pretty much it. I mean, if we take the Electrify, like... We're probably not seeing another gift. We could see another removal spell. I think it's actually gift here. I think it just makes the rest of our deck so much. It's, I think it's. I think it's gift. I think it's gift. See, now we get a shock or a spark tongue. I don't think we're getting a similar card to this. I think we can get a similar card to electrify. Is my is my my strategy on that? I think it's shock over third dragon, definitely. Yeah, Joshy Kill knows what's up. Like the the way that the way our deck loses if we can't hit like lands on four, five, and six. See, like we also have a rabid bite, which is just fine. I like this chaos wand though. I think chaos wand's probably pretty good here. Our creatures are utterly insane right now, but we have double dagger bla dagger back basilisk. I think we're just taking the rabid bite. As a person who works in subscriptions, you're right about retention being the most important thing. But without acquisition, 
uh, you wouldn't have anything to retain. So sure, there are some subscriptions that are more valuable than others, but anyway, part of the... I agree with you, and I agree with you totally, but the point is, like, those those subscriptions are going to run out at the end of the month, and the people who have them aren't going to really know that they ran out because they were kind of just, it was a passive thing on their end. The funny thing is, I would take any one of these. Either way, Cracker, I, I agree with you 100%. I think uh, I'm, a, I'm a fan of what you just said there. Oh, boy. This feels good for us, and yet these two are very, very good. I think it's actually Druid here. I think it's actually Druid. Yep, I agree. There's a Psychic Corrosion and a Psychic Symbiont? Why is that still in this pack? I would also easily play the Druid over the uh, the Greenwood Sentinel, which I don't care about at all. I would also take one Motivator out if we really need to. I'm just going to take Naturalize. going to give someone a, a, a nice nice Psychic Symbiont on, on en route. Can't run out if keep if I keep getting gifting it. That's <laughs> I guess that's true. I can't argue with that. This is a late aviation pioneer, which we would have loved to have every single time we drafted the blue deck, but we never saw it. So I'm gonna just take Highland game. I don't think we need another removal spell. I'd rather just have a two drop that we can. So right now we have five creatures that trigger Sarkons, which is I think that's fine. I mean, even, even outside of Sarkons on ceiling, our deck is very good. And these guys go over here. Could just be other stone quarry. It makes our uh, Rustwing Valken easier to splash. It might be Recollect. I'll take the Recollect because maybe we play it and get back something. Wow, this came back. Blanchwood Armor came back. I don't think we have anything that works with Druid of Horns except for Prodigious Growth. So I don't think we care about that. I think we're just taking the Blanchwood armor. I don't even think we're playing it, but it's just kind of funny that it came back. Sure. I mean, I don't think we're playing the white. Just take Titanic Growth number two, I guess, which is actually pretty reasonable. I wouldn't be surprised if one of those green cards did come back. I would not be surprised if the Colossal Majesty did come back. Doesn't look like it, though. Yeah, that's true. We do have Mare, but I'm not going to play an Oaken form just for just in, in like hopes that we have a Vine Mare. This is an enchantment that's good with any of our creatures. Oaken form is only good with Vine Mare, and not even because it's not even at that because it doesn't give Trample. So, I don't know. I'd rather just have Titanic Growth. I think it's better for the rest of our creatures as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is our deck. We can cut the one Titanic Growth. I also think uh, Hinterland Highland game is better than Greenwood Sentinel. And you're probably going here. But I also like Gift of Paradise and uh, Druid of the Cow when we have double Spark Tongue Dragon. I want to make sure we can hit those. Yeah, I could see taking out one motivator for the other Titanic Growth. Titanic Growth is actually a card that's pretty amazing in this format. Because a lot of the removal is sorcery speed.
I think this deck is done. 10 7. I'm going to go I'm going to go 9 8 because we do have double spark tongue which we want 3 red for. I think Highland Game is fine. Why do you got to be hating on Highland Game? What did that dude ever do to you? A Highland Game murdered my family. So if you're splashing three Nicobolas in a mono black deck, I don't know. I th Four Drawn Catacomb and four, four Dragon Skull Summits are definitely too few. You have to draw one of each in order to, to cast Nicobolas. That's pretty ambitious. Uh, I don't care about either. So you guys are... One thing to keep in mind, I don't care about either of those creatures uh, surviving at any point. I don't care about uh, the 2-1 or the 2-2 surviving. I really just want them to... In the decks you're playing them in, I just want them to survive long enough so I can cast things like this. So, I mean, that's really all I'm... I mean, if you're splashing Nicobolas, I wouldn't play Manolith and, and Constructed, but I would definitely play... Uh, Dragon Horde over Dragon's Horde over over Manolith every day of the week because it's just a strictly better Manolith. Unless there's a card in Magic that says destroy a card with any number of counters on it, in which case you're like, oh, wow, that was worse. What if we draw next turn Sarkons? Uh, and <laughs> what if we draw next turn Sarkons unmaking? Sarkons unraveling? Followed by uh, land for this Thornhide Wolves. Let's get this dude out of here. They have three cards in hand. I feel like that's good for us. Oh, this is going to be nice because we can actually block the Child of Night and uh, Titanic Growth here. Or we can just block and trade. I like the Titanic Growth play because we get to keep our guy which is pretty important when we have rabid bite in hand I will trade with either of these things if you want to trade at the doom to center that's totally fine Uh, I think Prophetic Prism is even better than both of those if you're just trying to splash and not trying to ramp. Got them, got them poppy peas. Okay, so what we can do is one of these jobbies, one of these jobbies, this jobby. Yep, you got it. So they have three cards, we have one card. But our card is good, and we have a Dryad Green Seeker. I'm going to do this during upkeep, because if we hit a land... Uh, nope, okay, so that's good. We're just trying not to die to this guy before we can actually play our... I think we just have to actually play the Dragon at some point. Probably next turn, I guess. I don't want to go to two, but... God, I really hate just wasting the good abilities. Could have actually killed this guy with the stupid rabbit bite. Okay, that'll do. Alright. 
We're gonna do this now because if you have a pump spell, I'd rather not have you use it on our turn and kill us. And you did not. Seems good. I mean, we were at like 12 life and we had a dragon in hand. I wasn't, I'm not too concerned with the flyer. I am concerned with the 4 4 because it does have incremental uses. No, why are you not a land? Just keep revealing and try to. Oh, wow. Nothing. Nothing good is happening. Except for us being very far ahead. But other than that, nothing good is happening. So we're just going to draw Hydra next turn, which is nice, but. You know, I'd like to play this dragon at some point, he said before they just conceded and they didn't get to play the dragon at all. Okay, that's not it. Oof. Oof, that was a desperation move. Hunter <laughs> Garage on top, nothing good is happening. Yeah, this guy has no priorities. Plummet? I think one plummet's probably reasonable. We saw at least a Pegasus Courser and at least an Angel, so. Hmm. <laughs> He's already dead. On point. On point. Good, Good call, Mavaka Ghost. Oh, the, the third and fourth, uh the third and fourth ibuprofen really actually hit the hit the nail on the head. My head's feeling significantly better now. And they're like two hundred milligrams. They're not the actual extra strength like five hundred milligram ones, so. Four regular 200 milligram ones is 800, so it's basically like one and a half of the extra strength ones. This hand seems great. We can kill so many things. Oh, I'm just going to play that guy. People all over the world, join hands. Okay, okay. Well, I mean, it, with this hand, pretty much any number of lands we draw is just fine. I will not block. Oh, they didn't attack? That's interesting. Oh, boy. That's exciting. This is less so when you have a stupid Doom Dissenter in play. However, we do give our dragon haste next turn. One, two, three, four, five. All right, sure. Oh, now it just got better. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. We're living our best life here, guys. Clean living, ladies and gentlemen. We have a good time. You done messed up, A.A. Ron! So technically, thanks to this guy, this card is very weird because technically right now, this card has dealt five damage. This five damage would not have happened without this card. So this card has contributed to five damage this game, which is pretty insane. I think when you evaluate this in such a way, it's very, very good. I don't care about that. I could just rabbit bite this guy. Just because we have so much going on here. But we also get to attack with this guy, which is not nothing. Yeah, if we played a land here, we could have electrified this guy. So, you know, our life choices are really being sad things here. All right, we're just going to do it anyway. I mean, I just don't want this guy on board, especially when you're gaining life every single turn. 
So you go to six here, and you're dead on board if you can play a creature with two toughness or a flyer. I don't know. Dang it. Oh, well, you fulfilled half of the the criteria. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, actually, we have the shock, so I'll just kill him. This game just ended. And we're done. I hope we can still be friends after this. They said they were a big fan, and then I killed them. Also, we added this guy to the soundboard. Which is quality. I'm going to mulligan this hand despite having all three of these that I really want. We're on the draw. Any forest. Any forest, guys. What are the odds of a forest? At the top one of the top two cards has to I want to keep this hand. Green Seeker and Druid. We can do this. Got another big fan. 8%. Yeah! <laughs> so exciting. I'm having a good time. I'm going to play Druid here because if we hit a land, we can play Sarkons on Ceiling. We did not. So now we're just going to play Green Seeker. Still, still good. Still so good. And we're going to upkeep, try to, try to peek. Get a peek. Actually, we want to hit a land, so maybe we don't peek on upkeep. I'll take two. You got it. Burp, 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 burp. All right, all these guys are. Oh, we did it. God, we're so good at this game. Do we just play? We just play Sarkons on ceiling here, and then probably crush the competition. Eight percent of the time it works every time. I love the eight percent meme as well. That's a good one. Oh, I see. This is what you want to do with your life? Okay. I understand. Oh wow. This is aggressive. Who are you giving float to? That guy? Alright, good. I'll block the uh, the other guy. Oh, Okay. Definitely want to hit a land here. Well, we did not. All right, so remember that time where we didn't have any gas? That's where we are again. Unfortunate. Yep, not good, not good. So you can go block... Highland game is a good blocker for this guy. We'd have to get rid of the Courser. So I guess we're doing that next turn. So we're going to take six here, I believe. Yeah, all right. Not loving it. So seven, actually. Ugh, that's gross. No, six, because we're killing, killing our bird friend. Hydra. Land one. Oh my god. You're fine because I want you on the top, but. I actually want to keep the Rabbit Bite because next turn, if we hit a land off this guy, we can go Dagger Claw into Rabbit Bite. Where right now, we're actually just fine. Yeah, Highland Game is an insane blocker here. Oh, this is interesting. Alright, so one more time. Hit a land. Wow. This is... 
pretty incredible. But now we have blockers for days. This is where they play their six drop that they've been waiting. Colossal Dreadmaw. Oh, thank God. Alright, so now we have a game. <laughs> now we have an unbelievable game. Okay. Okay, we just survived and now we're not dead. And that's all I really want. Of course, Mighty Leap still kills us. So does that. I, I absolutely fucking hate that card. It's so unbelievably stupid. If we play this, we actually don't die. We play this guy. I wanted to wait so we can actually pick this guy off. Next turn, we can shoot this with the unsealing and then they have to sack this. We literally have... But if we play this, they don't have a second guy to play that on, so... That's so stupid. How was that greedy? <laughs> it literally, the only card that kills us is Mighty Leap and Declare Dominance. Two cards in the, in the entire format kill us there. And that's greedy. That's not greedy at all. That's literally just... We have two blockers on board and we're at five life. There's nothing greedy about that play. I'm going to take the motivator out. I'm going to bring in a plummet, a root snare, and a naturalize. Oh, they could have taken five too. Yeah, actually, yeah. So that doesn't even matter. Like both situations, they could have just actually had two guys on board. There was no greedy play whatsoever there. I'm cutting a creature here. Maybe I can cut the naturalize. We only saw one card. Yeah, I, pr I was pretty sure we could win that game if we didn't actually just die on the spot. I will definitely keep this hand. I mean, the lesson is just always play around stupid, uh, stupid declared dominance because that card wrecks me every single time. Oh, I see. I'm probably killing that guy immediately. Or I'm just going to play this. Well. Why would you ever attack with Green Seeker for one instead of activating it? That's weird. That's very strange to me.
they, yeah, maybe they sided onto four lands and they're like, well, I drew them all, so what can I do? Yeah, seems good. Plus one, plus one. Oh, I see. Plus two, plus two. I could have sworn I had one of those in my deck as well. But I sure don't know where that is. Yep, we're just going to die to Vine Mare here. Any big creature. Cool. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, all right. So, we can keep plumbing up and root snare. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need one more land, even so, to make Hydra and out. But Hydra actually doesn't actually kill this, it's just really big. Um, sure. Get rid of the blocker. Intriguing. I mean, guess we'll do this. Big guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess we just have to play this now. <sighs> this match is really stupid. I liked it a lot better when we actually had an out. Or we had like last game where we literally could have just rabid bited the big guy and not had to worry about it. But I <sighs> still not super great. Interesting. <laughs> All right, we're done. Cool. That was a fun match with a very strong deck. Let me guess. Big guy off the top? Oh, we just don't get to look because Magic Online doesn't know how to show you the next card sometimes. Uh, awesome Delph, the X, X equal 7 would do it because it kills anybody, but uh, the problem is that it's a 7-5, not a 7-4, so the 4 damage would not do it. Well, this hand is pretty unimpressive. We didn't tell anyone big fan. They said big fan of ours. You know what? I'll keep this hand. Nope. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. Okay, that's a good amount of lands. Oh, no attacks is nice because it says we don't have tricks. And that's all I really want you to... That's all I really want you to say. Yep, that's pretty good. <laughs> C 
comical. It's a lot of lands here, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight lands to three cards, two of which are just more lands, basically. This is the second time we played against the Johnny's Welcome in this format. Today. Deal. Wow. Interesting. The red-black life, life gain deck makes sense to me because you can... Um... You have ways to use the mana or use the life, right? This one, not so much, though. I mean, this is pretty easy sacrifice a goblin, but the better reason is we get a bunch of blockers out of it. Did I say a bunch of blockers? I'm going to blocker out of it. <laughs> I'm looking at the board. I'm trying to focus on this game, but I'm also like trying to read the chat. Yep, that is fine. That is going to get bitten. Faux show. This is the part where Green Seeker is great because if there's land on top, we just get to draw it. If there's not, then I'm grateful to be drawing anything that's not a. a, a yeah, that's fine. I don't even think we want to attack here. Eh, maybe we do. We block, we take three, they take five. Yeah, that seems fine. We can also shock one of their guys to, uh, to take one instead. Car the Unlucky, it seems like you were uh, not representing your name there. Yeah, our, our draws are pretty terrible. Like, I mean, the turn you, you declared dominance, we could have actually rabid bitten the uh, your guy. So it sucks to stabilize at that point and then just get killed with a declared dominance, but what can you do? And the next game, obviously, we drew nothing but lands. See if you got trumpet blast here. Nope, nothing. Okay. Shock the green seeker.
Well, that's not what we want to draw. But in the context of this board state, it's actually pretty okay. <laughs> it's not the worst. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have ten lands, ten mana sources here, including the Green Seeker on board. And this one Demanding Dragon is going to go the distance. I almost like Recollect just to get back a card like this if they end up killing it because it's very strong. You guys heard it here first. Demanding Dragon, very strong. Yeah, that's fine. Does it get first strike too? I think so. I'm going to auto yield to this. I don't care about that. That is one big game. <coughs> Excuse me. No blocks. I'll take four here. Yeah, dry a green seeker. The reassurance that you're probably never going to draw land again unless there's two in a row is pretty good. And even then, you can probably do it during your upkeep if you want to be sure, like right now. Oh, dear God. We have drawn 11 lands. Our opponent has drawn four. Let's keep that in mind. I'm actually surprised they haven't cracked that to draw a card yet. I probably would have done that two turns ago. I'm not sure the one life a turn is relevant, but... Maybe they're waiting for their black source to play their uh, Epicure of Thirst? Yep, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'll just take four here. At worst, we stop attacking. But had I known they had that, I probably would have saved the shock. Oh, look. That's good. Fashionably late to the party. Give me that Hydra. Hydra on top one time. We're just going to pass here. Like, we really just have to survive. Like, we're only dealing four a turn because of the life gain and if they play any creature it offsets that so they're on a four turn clock but it's very much more likely to be a five turn clock hydra one time would be utterly insane we just wipe their board deal them four <laughs> give me something to use with all this mana all right stone quarry is fine Hydra doesn't trigger on ceiling because it enters with counters. Is that right? Because you're casting a zero zero. That makes me really sad. Yeah, you're right. That's stupid. Oh, well. I mean, I guess we can just hope for a regular creature. All right, sure. Yeah, this is pretty bad. There's no way this ends well. Inspired charge? Whatever they have, it's fine. I don't even... Yep. Oh, that's... 
Really? Huh. Wow, that was great for us. <laughs> okay, well. Now we're talking. Look at this, for the first time ever, this dry... No, I'm not going to attack a dried green seeker. That seems bad. I'd rather just mitigate my land drops at this point. Yeah, that attack was great. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Probably just going to shoot there. Actually, if we shoot the goblin, like, they lose all targets. And they don't have a way to block next turn, theoretically. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's... I feel like you should have done that a while ago. Oh, when we win the game. Okay, well, we've hit. We'll never... Oh, that would have went in our hand. And then we would have drawn wolves, which would have killed something else. Yeah, all right. Um, uh, do we care about the plummets? I don't think so. We saw, like, no flyers. Sentinel could be good here, just because they do have a bunch of... Uh, I don't think I care about Motivator. I do kind of like Recollect, though. Now that's a horse of a different color. I see what you did there. A little, a little Wizard of Oz meme there. That's nice. Oh, this hand is gas. I don't like Motivator just because, um, like, giving your guy your 4-5 haste against their deck is not what you want to be doing because they look like they're going wide. All right, so this hand is gas on the on the, the pretext that we're going to be able to draw some things to cast with all this mana and this, this ramper gentleman. All right, we have not yet. I got my little fingers crossed. Oh, a 2-3 with no value. I'm game. Um, Yeah, we're just going to pass here. Really? I'm just going to block. If I let you get through once, you get through every time. And we can actually recollect and get it back if they try to kill it. Okay, they didn't. It's, it's going to be pretty funny if they attack again and we get to shock it. I, like, never want to play Spark Tongue Dragon when they don't have a guy out.
can shock that guy too. I don't think they're attacking again because they have no reason to. Can we just put this on this guy? <laughs> what do they do against like an 8-9 trampler? I'll wait a turn so we can actually get a beat in. How can we shock a creature with Rabid Bite? Don't we need to shock a creature with Shock instead? Oh no. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, I won't be blocking as you probably know. So this is eight damage. And then we get to get to figure out how to... Next time we can rabid bite something and recollect and rabid bite again. Okay, this is pretty bonkers. I think they're just dead. <laughs> I think they're just dying to this. Unless they have literal luminous bonds in hand. Oh god, they do. Oh my god. Why does it never get easier? Oh, look. Fashionably late to the party. Oral, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Do we have a way to kill this? I don't think we boarded in a naturalized by any means. Yeah, that's fine. I'll kill that thing too if I have to. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we have eight, so we can actually spark tongue dragon. Yeah, that's good. Let's do that. Oh, they only have one card in hand. Yeah, we're in good shape here. Attacking would be pretty bold when you have one card in hand. I can't imagine that's correct. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Yes. This ability? Target of a spell or an ability. I'm just going to get rid of the scutter snipe. Not going to attack. I don't want to. It's just not worth it. There you go. They sacked that at the right time this time. Yeah, that guy's dead. Let me see your true colors. Sure. I'll take four. Oh, boy. Well, on the bright side, well, I don't think we can attack anymore. It's six here. Yeah, we're just going to pass. Like, because if we, if we block and they just attack, we're dead. I mean, we, we go to two, which is not ideal. Oh, I see. Okay, well, block you. Block you. Sure. We're at four. Both of our guys are alive. You can't electrolyze us. Can't spit f lava X. Lava X.
lava axe. Lava axe. Lava axe. Boy, I sure lava axe. I mean, I'm pretty sure we drew like four actual spells that game. What do we draw? Like Vine Mare, Dragon, Druid, Enchantment, Rabid Bite, Shock, and Recollect. I think those are the seven seven cards you drew, one of which is obviously a, a, a creature, a mana creature. And then we had at least nine mana sources in play, so. I mean, this hand is great so long as they don't kill us before we get to not die. Don't play a thing. Okay, I don't care about that. Fashionably late to the party. Oh, a boggart brute of your own. Okay, now we're doing great, because now we have all the mana that we need to do our things. Yeah, I didn't think you'd block here. Ooh, a trusty crap beast. I'm probably just going to trade with this vanguard. Especially because we have dragon in hand, which puts them on one creature. Which is pretty good. Four mana. All right, that's fine. We could also go Titanic Growth, Recollect Titanic Growth, and then there's Dead on Board. Uh, that's also pretty fine. Um... Yeah, we're just going to Titanic Growth this guy to get both these dudes out the way. Alright, we're in good shape. I think we just won this game. That is not going to do it. Five, six, seven, eight. Recollect the growth. Boom. Got him in the face. That'll do. That'll do, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. As usual, as you know, slam those like and subscribe buttons. And also, if you want to support me on other means other than YouTube, which is great, I really appreciate it. You can get new content from me on my Patreon page, patreon.com slash franklaports in the description below. Same with my Twitch profile. And uh, you can do, do whatever there as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate the support. I will see you guys next time.